Hey everybody, welcome back to my 7 Days to Die series, Surviving Alpha 18 or Surviving A18. So it is the morning of day 8, um, and I've done a couple things here. I was able to build a workbench last night because I went and spent the 5 skill points that we had. Uh, and what I did is I spent 2 on intellect, 1 on advanced engineering, um, so we can get a workbench and we can get a cement mixer going, which is going to be good. Um, so that's going to be necessary. And then I went ahead and I put a point into archery. Uh, which allows us to bring, build a level 2 bow, which we can do uh, as soon as we get some more bow parts. Um, and then the last point I put into... What did I put it on? Um, where did I put it? Archery. Oh, the Daring Adventure, that's right. So we get three uh, uh, choices now for loot rewards. Hoping to pick up another beaker soon enough. And out back here, I'm just going to turn the light off briefly. We're going to go look out back here. I don't know if we can see him. Let's turn the light back on. There is a zombie um, tourist out here somewhere. He's feral. You can tell because of his eyes, but I don't see him here now. He was wandering right here a few minutes ago. Oh, there he is over there. You can tell because of the little glint in his eyes that he's feral. So we're going to go have to... Oh, he's dead now. I was going to say we have to go take care of him, but apparently not because he just decided to up and die on his own. All right, so we're going to head down. I'm going to hit up... Do, do what I said yesterday. I'm going to hit up a few trees um, and get uh, a bunch of wood because we do need wood. This is all the wood we have left. I made 50 spikes last night. Uh, I'm going to leave the bow out of the, the toolbar for now. It's really for pulling the zombies in um, POI, so I'm not really worried about that right now. And we're going to lay these spikes down, but I'm going to put them on the outside of the building here. Um, only because it seems that they, the zombies are enjoying banging our, on the outer walls, rather than trying to make their way around. So if we can kill a few of them this way... We're going to go ahead and do that. But we're going to be woefully lacking spikes. We're going to need a lot more than this. So this first wall is going to use uh, 25. Yep. And then what we'll do is we might as well just use the second wall over here. I'm going to start chopping trees on this side. Yeah, I don't know why those zombies just go up, up and croak in the morning, but whatever. Saves me having to fight that guy. But zombie tourist ferals, they hit hard, but they're slow, relatively slow moving, so it's not so bad. Oh, shoot. Well, we're going to be doubling that up sooner or later anyway, so. Alright, let's get this down. One, two, three, four. And we're one short, but that's fine. Alright, so let's hit up a bunch of trees here. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I'm not going to record the whole thing. I don't really have much to say at this moment. So we're just going to hit these trees up. Um... I'm going to grab a couple thousand wood if I can. Do some replanting. But I'm only going to replant the oak wood trees. I'm not going to bother replanting these pine trees. Because I got a, uh, a hate on for the pine. I hate how bushy they are. It makes it difficult to see past them when they're fully grown. Some of them anyway. But uh, I like the oak trees a little better. All right, that should, that should about do it. I got 44 spikes on the move here. So let's just quickly, I need to get an engine now um, because I've got enough materials to make a cement mixer except for an engine. So I'm going to hopefully get an engine out of one of the vehicles that are close by here. There we go. Well, that makes things simple. All right, a little bit of gas too. All right, so let's switch this back around. Let's go place these spikes. Um... Oh yeah, I dropped the pine seeds. Go place these spikes. And then we'll put the stuff away, get the cement mixer moving, um, or building in the uh, workbench. And then uh, once that's done, we'll head off to the coal mine and see what it's got for us down there. So let's put the one that we missed down here. Like so. Come on, what do we got here? Let's just do it like this. All right, hopefully we have enough. I think 44 should be enough for the back wall here. 
Oh yeah, plenty. Nice. So there's that done. And then let's go... We got that one already. Let's just add, like, what do we got? Four more after this? Put one there, one on the other side. And we're going to put some on the front here, I think. I mean, they're most likely try and break in. Let's put one here. And that's all closed off. So let's just put, like, one, two, three. Sure. We left that open on purpose, so... Um, we have to replace all these with, with uh, concrete at some point, too. So let's go put this stuff upstairs, because we've got a lot of junk here, uh, and get that um, cement mixer moving. So we can have that done by the time we get back, so I can start making concrete. I've noticed, too, that they doubled the concrete recipe, so now when you uh, want to uh, put concrete on a rebar, it no longer costs you 10, it costs you 20. So that's a little bit expensive, but it's fine. We'll make it work. All right, that, that, and that, and that, and that. Oh yeah, the other thing we want to do is go get some water today. We're running low on murky water and stuff, and we're running low. I mean, we got enough for a couple of days, but I want to make sure we have enough for a while. So let's do that, and then let's go and grab our components here, and then... What? Oh, there it is. There we go. Let's get that sucker crafting. All right, now let's go down and check out what's going on in that in that uh, shaft down here. All right, here we are. All right, let's just put this sucker here. We're going to leave our bike outside this time. Let's grab our a bow. Move it around a bit. Wrench can go here. All right, now... How do we want to go in this place here? Let's take the uh, shovel out. Check out what's in here. That looks like it's all coal. Well, that's kind of cool. I guess it would be making sense since this is a uh, dump and lung <laughs> a, uh, coal mining facility. How do we get in here? Oh, there's a ladder. Well, that's kind of nice. Let's go check this out. This would actually be kind of a cool horde base. Is that... Uh, I wonder how tough that is. A thousand. Upgrade that to reinforce concrete. Upgrade the pillars to reinforce concrete. Yeah, it's kind of a cool place. Alright. Let's hope for the best here. Let's hope for one zombie. Okay. But of course. The thing is, is I heard that creaking and I'm like, oh, I wonder why that's creaking. It's creaking because I'm a dumbass. See what we got here. Nothing. Now I didn't see anybody up there. Well, that looks interesting. Um sure. I wonder if we should just go outside. Okay, let's do this. There's got to be another way out of here, right? We can get out that way. But it doesn't look... looks like if we go down, there's no way back up, which means I bet you we come out that door that's outside in that... Uh, in that little hut. Oh, it's a mine shaft. Wonder if this is gonna break. Wow, this is pretty cool. Kudos to the fun pimps, man. Okay, I guess we drop down on top of here.
Bet you there's zombies inside this thing. All right, well, um, playing it safe. Can we get a frame down in here? Why can't we get a frame out there? Oh, there we go. Oh, there's a person there. Okay, well, I guess we're stuck down here with whatever's here. Big bucks, no whammies, guys. Big bucks, no whammies. Locked, huh? Okay. Um... Oh, that looks positive, eh? Alright, that's the way to go. Don't wake your buddies up. I guess we should loot as we go. That's all coal. What do we got here? Nothing. We better get something good out of this place. That's all I gotta say. I'm sure if it was like later levels. I I mean it's not I know it's not a level based system anymore, but like later on in the game, when you've got more experience and stuff. Bet you there's better stuff in here. Really hoping for some batteries. Oh, we got another one. What's the cheerleader doing down here? There's a guy over there beside the uh, cobble too. Time to wake up, sweetheart. Time to go back to sleep, sweetheart. All right, let's see if this guy's an idiot and walks. Oh, uh, we got another one over here, too. Oh, we had one over there. I was just about to say, these bows don't do as much damage to the heads as they used to. Takes his freaking head off. Here, hold this, will you? Oh, you missed. No, you didn't. There you go. What do you got for me? Couple pieces of steel, huh? <laughs> it's got antenna going back and forth here. No, 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 he killed me, no, no. Alright, what do we got up here? I bet you that drops into the uh let's grab these out of here. I bet you that drops into the um room that we couldn't get into. Sure. Let's make as much noise as we can. Let those zombies know that we're coming. I didn't even see a this overlook either. See, this would be kind of cool if the zombies couldn't tunnel down. You could funnel them down into there and just kill them. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, we got a construction worker. I'm finding these guys are harder to hit now. I don't know whether that was intentional, like they changed the movement patterns or what. Here, hold this, will you? Thank you. Okay, that was the door in, I guess. This looks like the machine room of some kind. We've got more over there. Coal oven. Uh, that's the door. Let's get in here. He did pretty good work on that. For a couple of hits. 
This doesn't look safe in here. Don't know if that's for the uh, elevator or what that's for. Okay, we got a dumpster. Let's keep looking up. Okay, there's got to be a ladder up here. It's probably it right here. Hey, Tex. You hold that for me. You're just going to sit there. That's what you get. I hate this freaking... Sp I like the idea that when you kill them, if you whatever body part comes off, drops whatever items have been thrown into it, like spears, whatever. What I don't like uh, is that it bobbles around like crazy and you can't actually get your fingers on it. Yeah, this POI would be really nice later in the game. Much more difficult to take on. Lots of fun, most likely. Okay, let's get all this material and get out of here. Alright, now see, this is a nice little touch, how they've done this. You know, it's like whatever loot and stuff just buried because stuff collapsed. Pretty cool idea. I like how they add little bits of flavor like this. Now, it makes me wonder if there's anything else under here. Or if it's just the stuff that we can see. Oh, there's a box. I got a feeling that might be it. Okay, that's locked. So let's see if we can uh, pick this sucker. Come on, big bucks, no whammies. I don't know how often these chests are going to be locked. I've noticed some of them are and some of them aren't. Come on, come on. There it is, folks. Oh, that's kind of nice. Sniper volume 1, 6. AP 7.62 ammo. That's nice. And crippling shot. Nice. Other th boots level 3. What have we got in here? Come on, give me a shotgun. Well, there's our bow parts that we were looking for. Or one of them, anyway. Handgun parts, rifle parts. Okay, let's take all those. Hidden stash. Oh, duckbill schematic. I like how they changed the schematics. It's kind of really nice. Ah, bellows. Now these are pretty cool. Increase the uh, forge smelting speed by 50%. That's awesome. All right, let's get out of here. So let's hope. There's nobody up in that room. Alright, well, it's just easier to go through the wall. See, this thing's even got a built-in escape hatch. Definitely a pretty cool POI. The mine was a little small, but, you know, that's fine. I wonder what the detection rate would be for zombies if you were down there mining. Like, if you decided to come here during the nighttime and just mine all night, if a wandering horde came by, if they would actually hear you down there mining. Maybe we should try that out. Oh, what's up, lady? How you doing? Can you hold this for me? Oh. She's just not very good at catching. That's what it is. Alright, where are you? There you are. So I was playing a game where I tossed a spear and I couldn't find it. I don't know whether it broke on the ground or what happened, but it wasn't there. I cleared all the grass, cleared everything all the way around, and it was just gone. So I don't know if there's a chance for spears to break when you throw them and they miss. I don't know. All right, let's drop this stuff up at home. It's only 1 o'clock. I'm thinking... Um... I think I might want to take a trip out to the trader. 
We've got a bunch of stuff to sell. He's got bow parts, and I think I want those. I want to be able to make a level 2 bow. And I'm trying to use, avoid using up all my bacon and eggs, because uh, the ones I have on me are all that I have left. Okay, so let's deposit all this stuff here. Uh, what do we got? Uh, the chairs can go in here for now. Casings. Okay, let's use the tuna. And let's use one of the shams. And then we'll use some red tea. Okay, put these in here. And let's see what else we got to sell here. I'm going to sell the hammer we found. Oh, the bellows can go right in here. We've got an extra wire tool. Let's put this down here. Because I want to um, pick up some water on the way there. So the overalls we can probably sell. They're only worth eight though. Let's uh, take the modifier off of that. And the these guys we can get rid of. That we can get rid of. The hunter mod is for going after players. So we don't need that. There's the extra cash that we have. How much is this worth? 137 I'm loath to get rid of that one. That's worth only nine. Let's just get rid of it. Uh, these are worthless. So yeah, I think that's what we'll take with us. These we're gonna melt. Actually, you know what? We're gonna melt this iron spear too. We might as well. It was worth 20 forged iron, so I mean it'll melt pretty good, I think. Hang on to the cowboy hat. Actually, you know what? Let's put that on for the trip. There we go. And it's only because we're getting overheated in the desert. So let's pick up our frames and we'll head off. All right, let's go to the trader. All right, we're just hopping off the bike now because I want to go through the desert, see if I can find some more bird's nests. Big problem is we're running out of eggs. So we, the bacon and eggs that I have on me is all we have left. Uh, so hopefully we can find some. Wow, even with the cowboy hat, I'm overheating, eh? All right, well, I found a bunch of bird's nests. I only got one egg. One egg. So we're going to have to do some food searching at some point. Because um, this is just not going to cut it. We're going to have we're gonna run into starvation problems. We'll be sp spending all of our time going to the trader to make uh, cash so we can buy stuff out of the vending machine to stay alive. Although we do have a lot of houses around us, so I mean we could hit those up, but that's not going to sustain us for long periods of time. I didn't, I don't remember, I don't think he had any, um, I don't think he had any uh, eggs to sell. So uh, that's a problem. Now, I know there's some sham in, or a shamway crate under there, but not interested in going down there just for a shamway trade. All Hello, right, stranger. Hello there. All right, let's sell this stuff first. Yeah, 38 air uh, feathers and only one egg. Okay, um, I don't think. Oh, that's the schematic. kind of nice um, where's the f oh here it is no I didn't have any 108 for a can of chili you kidding me gratitude and safe travels friend yeah you're ripping me off here wonder if we should see if he's got something quick northeast you the man. Well, we got to go look for for uh, feathers anyway. So let's just take this and if we don't. Or so we need looking for eggs. If we don't get it done today, that's fine. But at least it's got us going in the right direction here. Now we checked this before, right? Yeah. Yeah, they definitely narrowed, like, slimmed down the number of birds' nests you can find. It's uh, kind of painful. Like I said, man, I don't want to spend all my time looking just to get enough food to survive. 
I mean, I know it's part of the game, but... Still, I'd rather have at least a uh, half-decent chance to... to uh, get enough eggs and stuff just to be able to make bacon and eggs. They want If they wanted to do anything, what they should have done is just lowered the... Uh, the uh, food and everything that the uh, bacon and eggs provide you. I could have gone after those dogs today too, but I'm not in the mood to fight dogs right now. Uh, don't be on the side of a cliff. Oh, here we go. Side of a cliff, because of course it is. All right. Oh, that was quick. There it is. Didn't have to dig much to find it. Now, I'm going to just do uh, this real quick. Let's use this. Yeah, and use that. Oh, there's some food. Nice. Let's use this. A little bit anyway. Rawr. Maybe we got time to go up and hit those dogs up. Gotta find eggs anyway. 500 meters. What time of day is it? Yeah, it's gonna be cutting it close. I think we can do it. Now we're on a full belly. If we can find one more egg at least, it'll have uh, compensated for the amount that uh, we've used today in bacon and eggs. Certainly finding a half, half decent amount of feathers anyway. Um. Hope it's not up in the top of that hill there. Three feathers. Okay, we got a road here. Oh, there's another egg. Okay, perfect. It's gonna solve that problem. Uh, is that car? That car is lootable. It is lootable. Let's check her out. A little small town over here. What's this? Forged iron. Okay. Gonna be slowed down, but we're gonna be on our bicycle heading back after this one, so not so bad. Yeah, it's up on top of the hill. Great. Hooray for that. Let's hope we can find an easy way up there. There's another egg. Nice. Yeah, looks like we can get up that way. Ooh, another one. Nice. We're going to pull the pistol out for these dogs. Come on. You know you can do this. I hear you. Trying to sneak up on me. That's kind of a nice view. There's the trader over there. You don't want any piece of me, buddy. I'm telling you. All right, what do we got? What's that down there? Oh, it's a snake. Nuclear silo. Our town over there. You know, I used to think hitting a snake with a bat was harder before, but so much more harder in this version. I got it. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, where are you here? Knife. Knife! Okay, that's enough for two bacon and eggs. Alright, let's go find out where this dough ghost thing is. Another 100 meters. I keep wishing I'm going to find, uh, find more duct tape in these things, but I guess... What I should be hoping for the most is the uh, lockpicks. Although we really haven't encountered that many uh, safes that I need a lockpick for. Thought I saw another burst nest there. I guess not. Oh, of course we're going down the other side. Yeah, you know... The terrain generation is actually darn pretty darn cool, um, except for maybe that screw up by the uh, that one uh, last quest building. 
Okay, where is the... There you are. I don't like this. I can't really move very fast, but we should be okay. That's a lot of dogs. Come on, reload. How bad could it be, he says. Can't be that many dogs, he says. Oh my god. That was five dogs. In theory, we should get like a fair number, a fair amount of uh, 24, eh? Hoping for more rotten flesh out of that. Seven, really? Eleven, it's enough for one plot. Fifteen, no chance we're getting five out of this guy. Yeah, almost. All right, well, it is what it is. Where's our bicyclette? There we go. All right. Three and a half hours. Lots of time. Ooh, what's that? See, one of the reasons why I hate riding the bike is I find I'm getting off it more times, like more often than I'm riding it, because I want to check everything out. But let's ride straight back to the trader. A couple bird's nests here. Let's grab these real quick. Ooh, another egg, nice. Yeah, no, that's one thing that they should offer for quest rewards. Maybe they should have it so that you can say, hey, I'd like to get, you know, a food reward or a weapon reward or a, you know, I don't know, whatever other, like a tool reward. And then, ooh, I apologize for that, buddy. And then it gives you a reward based on what you're, what you're re requesting. I think that would be kind of neat. Let's hit this up here. Got a little bit of time. Not much, but a little bit. What do we get out of that? Two? Alright. The dingo off there. Off to the side. I ain't stopping for him, though. Gonna get into the trader, see what we can get and get home. Is he following us? Doesn't look like it. Man, glad we had so many healing resources here. All right, what do you got, buddy? Many things. What a wonderful day. Okay, that's for the dogs. 318. Oh, God, really? No, 390. 393, eh? We'll take the ammo. Oh. All tubs. 250 fire damage. That's, that's pretty good. So... See, the thing is, now that Molotovs cost 300 gas each, you almost want to take those. What's Night Stalker here? Those will do 10% more damage at night. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the Molotovs. We don't really do much night fighting. So, uh, do you have anything up north? Northwest, a fetch. Can you do me a favor? Sure. It's rare to find honor in these dark times. It is very rare. I'm being paid though, so it's not really that honorable. But at least we got a quest for tomorrow. Um, and it should be pretty close to us. I'm gonna go by road again. Yeah, man. Right. <laughs> it certainly makes the roads um, very important again. Like, I mean, you never. I mean, you could ride a motorbike and a mini bike across country without too much of a problem before. You have the occasional hill. But now it's like you kind of have to be on the road. So it really gets you from town to town quicker. But then you don't really want to be on the bike going cross country if you can avoid it. Especially through the desert. And I'm assuming that um, the wasteland will be the same thing. Okay, stopping at this car. I'm going to check it out real quick. Might as well. There's a couple of cars on the way home. We've got a little bit of time. Ooh, that's nice. Another wheel. Getting ready for the mini bike. Uh, let's put this back on. I guess we'll turn the helmet, on, helmet light on now. 
so with the updates, it looks like they fixed a little bit of my lag problems. Um, one of the things I did though is I turned off, uh, I believe it was called occlusion. You got to do it in the menu before you start your game. And basically it turns off the loading and unloading of textures while you go into a building. So before they had it set so that when if you go into a building, um, that the uh, outside textures would unload and then they would reload when you came back out. But I got a feeling there's a memory leak there somewhere. Because I was having a really hard time with graphics for that. But now it's a little bit more manageable. I don't really have to log out when I go in and out of buildings anymore. But it's still a little bit laggy. Like, I mean, I have all, I have all the settings on max, so that's probably why. All right, let's get our ass upstairs. Let's get our asteroid up there. So our cement mixer should be done now. Which will be nice. And we can start making some concrete. I don't know if we've got enough stone, though. That's the question. We'll be able to make a little bit, but not a whole lot. So let's put this stuff away first. All right, now let's have a look. So the mixer's done. Let's drop that down. Let's see how much concrete we can get running here. Just going to put it right here for now. And what do we got here? I got 200 there. How much sand do we have? 1300. Oof. So let's just take a thousand. Let's get a thousand cement moving. Concrete mix, 1000. Thank you. Excellent. So we got that running now. Uh, which is good and anything else oh yeah we need to get our bacon and eggs we've got enough for three more so let's get that running Put one of these back out uh, yeah and then we need to get six of these going because we might as well stock up on some red tea. Um, 148. Excellent. So we got a little bit of food, which is good. Uh, trees slowly growing. Oh, yucca plant. Nice. Blueberries. Excellent. Slowly getting those going now. Awesome. All right, so I think I will end the episode there. Uh, we made some good progress today. We've got a workbench up. We've got a cement mixer. Um, we got a quest for tomorrow, which should just be over there. 149 meters, so it's probably that house, most likely. Football field away, football and a half. So that one or one behind it, if there's one over there. So we can nail that first thing in the morning and then head to the trader, drop that off. How, many, how much do we have here? 3,800. So that's pretty darn good. We might be able to find something useful. It's going to be day 9 tomorrow, so um, he doesn't get restocked till day 10. But we definitely want to get some more wood um, so we can start working on this building. Now, I was thinking that what I might do is have posts that... like ex Break that down, extend the posts a little higher and have it come over to the building here um, and have it high enough so if they get on the wall they can't actually get onto the post to come to the building and then have like some bars with holes in it so they can drop I can just be down there shooting at them if uh, during horde night um, so if they break through the outer wall there which I don't know like I got a feeling I mean if I stand this way the beginning of horde night hopefully they'll spawn behind but if they don't, they, they get into the building here, then, you know, uh, what I'll have to do is have an access um, from my level under here that's in the building to the outside, which I can come out and just drop stuff on them down here. And I can fill this with barbed wire and spikes too. I've got more than enough time to be able to do that, right? Fill all this with barbed wire and spikes. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll close off the front. I might leave it. Um, 
like just leave it open like this and maybe put spikes over there and fill this with spikes and barbed wire don't know don't know yet because we can just lob stuff from up here uh, but yeah all right i'm gonna end the episode there hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe and you can drop any comments in the comment section down below until next time we'll see you later